Welcome to the Style Sports Hub, presented by UF Health Medical Group Orthopedics. Hey everyone, welcome to the Sports Hub podcast presented by UF Health Medical Group Orthopedics. I'm your host, Kyle Coppola. Thanks for joining us here today. I want to thank our partners, Lake Center Home Care, Lake Sumter State College, Lassiter Wear with Auto Owners Insurance, and of course, United Southern Bank as well. Today, we are talking with Mount Dora Christian Academy baseball coach, Jason Sanders, and thank you for coming on to the program, coach. Thanks for having us. Yeah, looking forward to uh, the, the, the season, what you guys are doing um, coming off of a, a pretty great two, 2023 season, and uh, what can we expect out of 2024? I think we're going to pick up where we left off. Um, we got some new faces, but we got some old faces too. Uh, we graduated, I think we graduated seven last year, um, but we have a senior class of 10 this year again. So uh, we're kind of a mixed bunch of older talent, veteran, <laughs> experienced, which is nice. And then we've got some young guys that mix in there that uh, will help fill out our roster. Yeah, last year you sent two successful players to Division I programs. Uh, you had Dallas Dale, who went to LSU, and then you also had uh, Colin Priest, who's going to be playing for Michigan. Those players, uh, they, they, they were yeah, they ball were, players. They were special for us, um, but we, we had some other cats that were really good, too, for us. Yeah, uh, we, we sent six of the seven off to play college ball. So, awesome. um, you know. At the high school level, when you got guys that are going off to continue to play at the next level, uh, usually they stand out, and those guys were all huge contributors and big shoes to fill. But I, I think we can we can we can try our best to do that. So you've had a ton of success, of course, um, the last five years. Uh, before you were at Mount Dora Christian Academy, where where were you? So I've bounced around uh, my coaching jer- journey. I've um, I was at a Popka two years prior as an assistant. Um, I kind of took a lull from the head coaching responsibilities. It's a grind being the head guy. Yeah. And uh, I had a daughter at that time that was entering high school for the first time. So I went to the school she was going to be attending and was the assistant there for two years and uh, happened to coach with a good friend of mine. So it was a perfect fit. Uh, before that, I was five years at Wakaiva High School. Um, we had the luxury of coaching some really good players, including a first rounder there. Mm-hmm. Um and then before that, I was at Okoe as an assistant, and I was started my career at Cypress Creek one year as an assistant. So um, it's it's been been a bounce around journey, but always always a better situation, and and that's kind of why I've moved. From yeah, place and, place. and you've come and you've made uh, quite the uh, quite the splash since you've been here in Lake County for sure. Um, some great teams have come through. So you've sent plenty of players off to college and to play college ball at the next level. Um, why have you had so much success since coming on board with Mount Dora Christian Academy? Well, the institution itself, like we got great kids, great students, we get great support from the admin, and um, we got one of the best athletic directors uh, that I've ever worked for, and Coach Z. Uh, and, and we've had good players, um, and they've all been eager to work. That's the key. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you never know what you get with that teenager age group sometimes. Yeah. Um, but uh, we've kind of, when I first got there, that 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 idea of work ethic and um, that desire to maybe how far can I take baseball um, wasn't quite there. But as we kind of started pushing that with the guys work ethic has taken charge i mean you can go to um most of our guys because our facilities are so small that we'll have a group at cf lifting every day like at different times you go in there and there's mount door christian baseball guys Mm -hmm. um and the amount of stuff that they do outside of practice time and allotted team time um has made a huge um difference in our program and and changed and changed our trajectory for sure so yeah, you talk about the culture of your program as well and that's something that coach uh, Megan uh, or uh, athletic director Megan Ziegelhofer uh, preaches uh, about the culture of Mount Dora Christian Academy it just has a certain way of of uh, just a, a positive vibe and a positive mindset that these kids are able to be coached by some some amazing people yeah I mean Positivity is a big thing. I mean, baseball is a tough game, especially for us. Most of our sports are that way. But baseball itself is just, uh, you know, I think it's cliche, but it, it's built on failure. And uh, it's a tough enough game on its own. Um, like last night, we battled. We battled. Uh, it looked like 20-mile-an-hour winds and, and typical Florida early spring kind of weather. And uh, 
it, it was ball hitting the air was tough last night. Yeah, uh, and I was about to say what uh, what challenges have you faced as a as a coach? I mean, that must have been a heck of a challenge against Bishop Moore that uh, last evening. Yeah, they a talented roster. Uh, they graduated a lot, but they also have a lot of young talent. They always have an influx of of kids in there. Um, so it was fun to compete against them. We've we've kind of when I first got to Mount, Mount Dora Christian, I, I wanted to play the teams that I always I came from big schools, mm -hmm. and you, you create those friendships with the other coaches and those rivalries, and uh, I didn't want to lose those. So yeah. we couldn't play them right away. We had to build the program a little bit, but now we're starting to play them. We've got a pop on the schedule this year. Wow. We've got uh, we play Lake Brantley on Thursday night, so we're competing with the big boys. And uh, Bishop Moore was another test where they're a perennial playoff team. And um, it, it's fun to do that because we, we, we want to prepare our guys and play the toughest opponents we could possibly play. So mm -hmm. we're kind of ready in April and May. That's the whole idea. So. What's been the most fun part about building the, the Bulldog program for you? I just – helping the kids get to where they want to go, that's, that's the big thing. And it doesn't even have to be baseball-related, just – having them have success outside of Mount Dora Christian and, mm -hmm. and put them on their, their, their path to whatever they want to do in their life is kind of fun. Um, but I would say that the family nature of our guys, the small school, like I was always in bigger schools, um, 7A, and, and, you know, you don't know every student there. It's impossible. Yeah. Um, at Mount Dora Christian, you know everybody, especially in your baseball program. They always come back and they always support, and it's kind of that family environment that's – that makes it fun and enjoyable to be a part of. And that's that's the community uh, uh, sort, of, sort of that surrounds Mount Dora Christian Academy and a uh, very family-oriented uh, uh, Christian Academy. Um, I, I wanted to talk about the community, too, because not, not – just the coaches uh, focus on one thing. I mean, you're focused on a bunch of things at Mount Dora Christian Academy. What else do you do besides uh, head coach uh, of the uh, of the Bulldogs? So I'm an assistant athletic director, um, and I help Coach Z with with facilities and and do a lot of the stuff uh, that she can't get to. She's very busy, um, and uh, I take care of baseball, the facility itself. We've done a lot of upgrades this year, so. At times, I felt more like a construction manager uh, than an assistant athletic director. But we're slowly making some progress at our facility, um, helping softball, helping maintain football, and, and mm -hmm. keeping everything going. And then whatever I can help with the other programs as well. It's kind of um, – it's, it's always the culture at Mount Dora Christian to chip in where you can. And that's yeah. kind, of, kind of where I, I, I fill that role. What kind so. of upgrades did you make at the, uh, at the stadiums this season? So we did some work to one of our uh, exterior walls. We, d we put in a uh, retaining wall that's kind of decorative and, and spices up the ballpark a little bit with some netting areas. We had an area that fans love to sit at, and it wasn't always well protected from foul ball uh, territory, so now it is. Um, we got a new scoreboard that's actually getting installed right now as we speak, um, which is kind of neat because our, our scoreboard was needing of, mm -hmm. of an upgrade. Uh, we upgraded a locker room and some things for the guys that they can participate in. It's, it's always try to uh, either benefit their development or benefit them, them and, their, and their time there at Mount Dora Christian because when you look back, like one of the big things with sports is, is, is that, that time piece and spending time with each other and the relationships that they make with their, with their teammates and, and, and that time period. So we want them to be as memorial memorable as possible so yeah i gotta give it up to you guys you always have a beautiful natural grass surface over there and uh, it's always mowed perfectly uh, a really really uh, great job you guys do taking care of the Appreciate facilities it. over over there uh, we're gonna take a short break when we come back we're gonna be talking with more mount dora christian academy uh baseball stars coming up next on the sports hub Is pain or restricted range of motion keeping you on the sidelines? Get back in the game with expert orthopedic care from UF Health Medical Group Orthopedics. UF Health Medical Group Orthopedics provides robotic assistic surgical joint repairs and replacements, post-operative care, and inpatient rehabilitation services, all close to home, right here in Lake and Sumter counties. And for those unexpected injuries, UF Health Medical Group Orthopedics offers convenient walk-in and same-day appointments. To learn more or to schedule an appointment with one of their specialists, 
call 352-323-5665. Hey, everybody, we are back on the Sports Hub Podcast. I'm Kyle Coppola, your host. We're talking with Mount Dora Christian Academy Baseball. We got Coach Sanders here, and we got uh, on with us right now Senior Easton Workman, and thank you, uh, Easton, for coming on the program. Thank you for having me. Yeah, looking forward to, to what you can do this year in your senior year. You had 27 hits, 15 RBIs, 5 doubles, and 21 runs scored last year, so it was a great year for you. How did summer ball season go for you? Uh, summer went well. Um, I've never always been a big fan of summer ball just because I like the environment of a high school team. Yeah. But I think this summer is very crucial, especially because this summer is the reason I committed recently. So it went well. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations, by the way. Uh, oh, where, where are you headed? Uh, Lander University in Greenwood, South Carolina. Very exciting. And, uh, of course, they are an NCAA Division II school. So uh, right up there with the big boys you're going to be playing with, uh, really exciting things you get going on. Uh, Coach, what has he meant to the program? Uh, he's meant a lot. So when I first walked into the doors of uh, Mount Dora Christian, um, I joked, matter of fact, joked last night that I've never written that lineup at Mount Dora Christian that his name has not been in. Um, and that's from his eighth grade year on. Um, and we've had some fun moments where even at the final four, when we went his freshman year, uh, we were playing a veteran squad that when they announced the team names, it was senior, senior, senior. And we rolled a bunch of freshmen out there, uh, and a few sophomores. So, um, again, it's, it's one of those things we, we said it last night as, as a coaching staff, as we were watching them take IO, we were like, man, next year is going to be really weird. Not having a workman in the lineup. Yeah. And uh, he's he's hit everywhere in the lineup from the top to the bottom to now he's our anchor in our three hole. Um, and, and he's pretty much played middle infield the whole time. I think he played second base for us his eighth grade year. But ever yeah. since then, I've had four years of the same shortstop for four years. And uh, that's a luxury. And when you first came in, I mean, he, uh, Coach Sanders was still building the program. I think he was only in his uh, after his first year. So it was about his second year when you came in. What has it been like to co- play for Coach Sanders the last couple of years? Oh, he's easily the best coach we've ever had. He cares so much about each player and how the team, like how practices work, everything. He just looks at every detail and he just puts the work in for the team as much as we do. Yeah, and, and you can see that in the way that he coaches and, and the way that his teams respond as well. You guys have won three district championships in a row. You guys are going for the four-peat this year. Um, what, is that, what does the season look like for you guys uh, as, as far as the, the, the lineup goes, um, as far as teams go? It seems like you guys are playing a little bit more difficult of a schedule. We are. We, I mean, that, that's the kind of thing. Like, we always kind of want to ease into our schedule. We, we, you know, we don't want to win February or March. We don't want those trophies. We want the ones at April and May. Um, and we want to be hot at the right time. So, like, we, we mold everything about getting – everything is important about getting better every day. And that's just us, whether it's games or – like last night we dropped a preseason game. But, you know, those losses, you learn a lot more than you do in some of the wins because wins can disguise things at times. Um, but – we're going to pitch really well this year. We're going to play really good defense, and we're going to be a little different offensively, missing some of the power guys, uh, but we're still going to score as many runs. For you, you have the opportunity to go out, and you've never not won a district championship in your career at the high school level. Um, I mean, of course, you had your middle school year, but as far as freshman, sophomore, uh, and junior goes, you've won three straight. Uh, that's that's got to mean something to you this year if you can get that done. Oh, yeah, it means a lot. I think we will get done. I'm not worried about it at all. I think it'll be a little bit different of a process because, like you said, we don't have, like, the power guys like we used to. But everyone has a role, and everyone's going to fulfill that role. What's been your, your favorite thing now that you're a senior? What's been your favorite part about playing for the uh, the Bulldogs? Oh, definitely states my freshman year, easily. Yeah. And going to states and uh, and competing in states, uh, um, that's always re- really really fun when you can get to the FHSA playoffs and go and uh, and, and get things done. As far as uh, as you personally and, and the academics, we talk about the academics from Outdoor Christian Academy. How how important is that to you as well to to sort of um, to to go with athletics and academics together? I mean, academics matters the same, if not more, than athletics. If you're not going to have success academically, you're not going to have success athletically. Yeah, and, and Mount Dora Christian Academy, they've been known for that the last couple of years. Coach, yeah, you, you understand how important that academics are uh, to these students, uh, even after after school, whether they go play professionally or not. Absolutely, like especially in the game of baseball. I mean, it matters for every one of our athletes and students, period. But um, in baseball, 
Uh, baseball money is so hard to come by when you're trying to find scholarship money in schools and 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 those coaches when they're trying to get a snapshot of that player as a as a person too. Mm-hmm. Um, that grade piece is important because that's an investment when they offer money to a kid to come, you know, away from their house for the first time ever, most of them in their lives to, uh, you know, be a college athlete. It's it's quite an investment on their part. So the grade piece gives them a a, a little bit of a better picture of. Maybe, you know, they don't love math or they don't love yeah. science, but they're willing to put the work in because it's a necessary thing to, to be able to do what they really want to do. How did the, uh, how, how did the, the college signing come about for you? Um, well, I was in contact with Lander for, like, a long time, like almost like a year and a half. Mm-hmm. And this summer is when he um, – the uh, recruiting coordinator, Rob Buckley, is when he started to come watch games. And he liked what he saw, I guess, so – yeah, definitely likes what he what he sees, uh, especially when you're when you're slashing what you were this season with a three three thirty eight batting average last year. Um, uh, he definitely likes what he sees uh, out of you. Mount Dora Christian Academy, um, uh, of course, has a, a strong strong community support from from not only the teachers but the faculty, the family. What has it meant playing for Mount Dora Christian Academy for you the last couple of years? I mean, every time I step in the field, I feel like I'm not playing for myself, but everyone that cares, whether it's teachers. Um, classmates, family. I feel like I'm playing for them. Mm-hmm. And, and as far as he goes, because he's played with some incredible players, you, you talk about Dallas Dale uh, going go to LSU and, of course, uh, Priest, who's, who's headed to Michigan. You've played with some amazing talent. Um, what, what, uh, what has he meant, really, to the program as he enters his final year? Oh, man, he's been a, a lot to, to our program for so many reasons. Um, and, it, and it's really cool like the the beauty of mdca when we we can have sixth graders in our program our middle school portion of our program um one thing that we've always prided ourselves is is every part of our program is part of the family i've coached other places before where you know jv is its own thing mm-hmm. varsity is a little different um but we kind of have never done that we're kind of a tight-knit family we'll see varsity guys at jv and middle school games or in the dugout with them yeah um, we allow these guys to help coach them and mentor them uh, but Easton is one of those guys I've had since eighth grade. So you've seen him go from that young guy that's cutting his teeth on varsity mm-hmm. to now being a team leader as a senior, um, having all that experience that he has. There's there's not too many high school guys that has five years of varsity experience. Yeah, for sure. Uh, under the belt and ready to help a team. And just the experience. And Easton's one of those guys, he's well-respected by his teammates. And he, he doesn't always – He's not always in somebody's ear telling them to do something. So when he does speak, it carries a lot of weight, and the guys take it to heart, and yeah. they usually uh, it hits home. And, and now that you're a senior, too, you're in a sort of a leadership role on, on the team. Uh, what is your message to the younger kids that are coming up through the program? Um, I just want the younger players to understand that you're not always going to play for yourself. you got to learn to play for the people around you because you're not going to be with those teammates forever. Mm-hmm. And who are some of your role models that you've looked up to over the years? Um, I mean, way back when I was younger, kids like Sam Brown, who graduated, um, Tyquan Wiggins, Dallas and Cullen, kids like that. Yeah, big uh, big stars at the uh, Mount Dora Christian Academy level. Um, uh, one more question I have for you: What does the 2024 season look like for you? What uh, obviously you want the district championship, but um, as far as personal accomplishments, what do you want out of the season? My goal in every moment is to do what I need to do to help the team in every single moment. Well said, Coach. You got to love uh, yep. love a player like that. Absolutely, 100. percent Yeah. So that's that's what we're based on is is playing for each other uh we we don't chase outcomes we don't chase batting averages and things all that we chase the win the win column so uh and it takes every guy in our in our dugout to do that so all right Isa, thank you so much for uh for coming on to the program and looking forward to the 2024 season but coming up next we're going to be talking to mdca baseball player brian shooty he's a, a senior on the mdca squad as well so we're looking forward to that we'll see you next on the sports hour Are you looking for a bank with heart? For over 85 years, United Southern Bank has served businesses and families in Central Florida with excellent customer service and the latest in banking technology and products. 
USB offers free checking, high yield savings accounts, residential and commercial loans, and much more. Whatever you're looking for, USB delivers on personalized service and friendly, fast communication. Stop in to one of our 12 convenient locations or visit us online at unitedsouthernbank.com. United Southern Bank, we are united in community. Equal housing lender and member FDIC. All right, everybody, we're back on the Sports Hub podcast right now talking with Mount Dora Christian Academy baseball player Brian Schutte. And, Brian, looking forward to a great season out of you. Brian is a catcher for Mount Dora Christian Academy. You had 26 RBIs, tied for second on the team last year, 22 hits with a two fifty six batting average last year. Um, you know, Very impressive year for you uh, in uh, during your junior year and now coming into senior year. What's it looking like for you this year? Um, had a good year last year, always looking to improve. I'd maybe like to bring the average up a little bit, but always do what's best for the team, try and keep producing runs where I can. What, uh, Coach, what, what has he meant to the team the last couple of years? He's, he's another one like Easton. When um, these guys graduate, it's going to be tough for me because, they, like I said, those were the first guys when I walked into the building that they were there. Um, yeah. And they were a lot younger looking. <laughs> and and uh, he was an eighth grader as well at that time and thrown into varsity action really quick uh but he's a guy that's developed and, and and got the most out of his potential every day like he's he's worked really hard in the weight room mm-hmm. really hard physically um he puts in the time he, he's he's a he's a cage rat he's always in there hitting and doing what he needs to do to to perfect his craft so um everything that he has success right now he's earned every ounce of it yeah, we got a couple of great catchers in the area. Trey Kraft, uh, one of the yep. one of the really good cra- uh, players for for you, Matilda. But uh, uh, catchers are very important, of course. Um, you, you're planning to play every game as catcher too, so yeah, it should it'll be a long season, but I love doing it. It's good to do what I can for the team. Try and just minimize errors and just lead the team where I can. Well, you're a smart guy too because uh, you you already decided where you're going to college. Where are you going to college? Uh, Florida Institute of Technology. It's out in Melbourne. I'm planning on majoring in forensic psychology. Forensic psychology, really, really uh, exciting major right there for for you guys. Um, and that's one of the things I like about Mount Dora Christian Academy is that, that they're not just focused on the a- the athletes. Uh, they're also focused so much on the academic side of the of, of the uh, of, of the the spectrum as well. Absolutely. Um, it's, it's kind of the whole body experience with, 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 with our students from, uh, you know, the things they like to do, like sports, obviously the academic piece, and then also um, their faith and, and reinforcing that. So uh, that's always strong with them as well. But, um, you know, Brian's always been one of those guys that the rest of our students kind of look up to grades-wise. Yeah. Um, we, we usually have one of the higher GPAs among all the athletic teams. Uh, baseball guys, it, it's it's a crazy game that you got to think on your feet while the action's mm-hmm. happening. So, uh, for the most part, you got intelligent guys out there playing the game. Yeah, um, and Brian's definitely indicative of that. Brian, what's been your favorite part about playing for the uh, the Bulldogs the last couple of years? Uh, it's just that everything is so well scheduled. We go to practice. We know this is what we're doing. This is what we need to work on. Everything's like that. Games, but also the team. As a whole, we do we're trying to do more team activities this year outside of just the field. So I'm really liking the yeah. team environment and also just that everybody gets along, has a good time, but can also be serious when we do need to play. You have uh, a, a fantastic athletic director, not only your coach, but Megan Ziegelhofer. Can you speak on uh, Megan Ziegelhofer and what she's meant to Mount Dora Christian Academy? Um, she means a lot. She is at every event, every track meet, everything. She sets it all up. I've known her since I was playing t-ball out in Umatilla Babe Ruth. Uh, I've known her for a long time. She does a lot, and she's always been somebody that I know has is going to do everything they can for me and work as hard as she can. Being a catcher, consistency is very important, uh, of course, and, and making sure that no balls are getting by you and everything like that. Um, you've got some, uh, you've got two uh, two uh, really good pitchers that are on your roster this year that are going to be uh, lights out probably for you. you get, uh, I guess, uh, w- w- Ethan Priest, I believe, is going to be your starter. Um, uh, talk, talk about the uh, pitching staff this year. What's that looking like? Um, we've got a good pitching staff. We we're young, which is good. A lot of upside with both of the pitchers. Ethan, he's lefty. He is going to pitch. He's a good pitcher. Jordan, he's a righty. He throws harder. He's just, they're both good pitchers and both have a lot of room that they can play a huge role for us. 
as far as catching lefties and righties, I mean, you've uh, you've caught uh, a, a bunch yeah. for for both guy, both guys. What, what do you prefer catching better? Um, it really just depends on the guy. Everybody's different. Some guys move more, some arm angle, but it's really just depends on the pitcher. There's so much, so many different variables with it. Having a lefty starter, um, uh, you, you're going to have a lefty a lefty starter, and then you get your righty uh, that comes in probably for relief. Uh, is do, do you deal with a lot of lefty starters uh, as far as that goes? Uh, and I mean, it just it's the luck of the draw who you got on your roster at the yeah, time. So. Um, it's always nice to have that left hander, uh, just because um, left handed hitters they always kind of have full reign going against righties. They they get. They, they, they see right-handers all day long, so when they can see that rare lefty on the bump, uh, we, can, we can carve up lefty hitters. And, like, last night's lineup was lefty heavy uh, with Bishop Moore. And uh, Ethan, we only let him go three innings because it's the preseason, but uh, he was pretty tough on the left-handed hitters, which is what we need. And uh, he, he, he's a guy we're going to look to. Uh, but we, we have some depth this year on the pitching staff, and, mm -hmm. and one of the big things is having a veteran catcher uh, because he's the pitching coach on the field. Like yeah. we, we can only get so many visits and can only yell so much from the, from the dugout. Uh, Brian can do a whole lot more than we can. So yeah. um, it's good to have that veteran leader right behind the dish. And You like calling the game, I'm sure. Yeah, I do. It's really interesting. It's good to try and figure out what you want to do next in each situation because it's constantly changing. There's so many – so much going on you just always have to think of two two pitches ahead yeah uh, and and especially from outdoor christian academy looking for four in a row for for the uh, district champions the sh ships if you're able to get that done this year what's been your favorite part about playing for uh, for coach sanders over the years um i just have to say just whenever you're there he just works so hard for the program he's always on the field working on the field we have a great facility it's always in the best condition possible everything's so scheduled out to a T it just makes our job so much easier when we know that we don't have to worry about being here on time because we know we get here we know what's going on when to do it it just takes out a lot of any guesswork out of it and then as far as this guy goes uh, coming into his senior year his final year here at Mount Dora Christian Academy um, uh, what has he meant to the program and what does the program look like to, for the future as these guys start to graduate yeah I mean all of our seniors, uh, especially that group that were all eighth graders when I first came in, uh, they're always going to be a special bunch to me because that's the first guys I got to coach. And, mm -hmm. and, and they, they were the first guys a part of like my vision for what Mount Dora Christian could be. And now to see it come to full steam when they're seniors, uh, it's kind of it's going to be sad come May. Um, this is not going to be an end of a season uh that i will enjoy hopefully we get to play the last game that's played in the state of florida this year and, and play as long as we can but uh <laughs> that's always our goal but um he's mean, meant a lot just how he's handled his business how he's worked hard to get to where he's at um even this year knowing that um we we, we had the luxury of having two really good catchers the last couple of years with with of course brian and then josh Hare, who went off to play college ball last year um and now we're bringing younger catchers along underneath them, but Brian's going to be forced into that role of, of getting a lot of innings behind the dish, and he's, he's prepared his body like he's never done before. Like he's in great, great, great shape to, to last through the season because it's a, it's a grueling position yeah. back there. So I was about to say, why do you enjoy playing catcher? I mean, uh, catcher is a pretty grueling position over the course of, of the season. What, uh, what stood out to you, and why do you like playing catcher? Um, I like it because there's you can see everything first off. You can kind of control what happens more, mm -hmm. but also because you can see everything, you don't have to think about, oh, what is this guy behind me in the outfield doing? No, you can see it. You can change it and it takes some of the relying on other people to like maybe not be in the right position. Mm -hmm. It takes some of that out of it because then you know it's your job to position people in the right places. Absolutely. Well, best of luck to both of you and uh, all, your entire team uh, on the 2024 season. Hopefully we see you in the States this year. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, we're going to come back and uh, wrap up the sports up next. Are you ready for your future to take flight? Whether you're graduating high school or looking to level up, Lake Sumter State College offers affordable degrees and certificates that will punch your ticket to success in a rewarding career. 
Plus, with programs like Direct Connect to UCF, your opportunities with LSSC are endless. So, what are you waiting for? Join us in Leesburg, Claremont, Sumterville, Four Corners, or online. Learn more at lssc.edu. Hey everybody, thank you for watching the Sports Hub Podcast. want to thank our presenting sponsor, UF Health Medical Group Orthopedics. Also want to thank our partner, United Southern Bank, Lake Center Home Care, Lake Sumter State College, Lassiter Wear with Auto Owners Insurance. And of course, our podcast is available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and our Facebook page. Make sure to go on to our website, lakeandsumterstyle.com, and check out our Sports Hub section as well. we got all sorts of cool content on, on there. we got athlete highlights and uh, sports scores and highlights and a uh, lot, lot more content on there. So that's a really cool thing to check out. I want to thank Mount Dora Christian Academy for coming on today to the Sports Hub. We'll see you on the next edition. This has been the Style Sports Hub. Presented by UF Health Medical Group Orthopedics.